Oh, I, I was uh, enjoying your Spotify writing playlist uh, this afternoon. Um, you and I have some of the same taste. You like to sit and listen to movie soundtracks. I, I have some of the same soundtracks, but different tracks. So, oh, I'll listen to your mix. Uh, and that, that will complement my writing nicely. Um, how, how much use is that? I mean, is that your, is that your playlist that you, you listen to every writing session or? Yeah, that's, that's my Spotify playlist. I'll like pull all of these soundtracks from different movies or auto, auto machine, I think it's called, um, or audio machine. Anyway, um, I listen to all of that. And sometimes I might listen to something else, but that's such a huge list that I can play something that I like from there. And sometimes I'll actually pick one that fits the mood of the scene that I'm writing, and then I'll just put it on repeat because then I'm not really listening to it and my brain is not really thinking about what's happening in the song anymore. And I can just have it as background mute mood music but it does it gets me in the mood it gets me into the feeling of the characters and the setting and um i think i think it really helps i know some people don't like having music they like to to write in silence and i've done that too but most of the time i feel like music helps me a lot with with getting in the mood yeah i think it uh, depends on the medium but it's a little bit different how they how they like to write but i think if it was like a brand new uh, album by an artist that I really like with lyrics I'm going to want to pay attention to to understand the meaning of the song or <laughs> what I'm going to think the song is about for the next 10 years until somebody says you know that song is actually about this thing oh <laughs> but I, I don't want to be listening to that while I'm trying to compose my own story um, so a nice movie soundtrack which is designed to be played over a story that, that you're telling um, that makes a wonderful wall of noise to just block out the world I think yeah for sure definitely and i've even done um like on youtube there's tons of things on youtube and even people have made like hour-long songs so i've i've actually done noises as well so this would not be on spotify but i've done like rain if i if i'm like writing a scene in the rain i will put rain on like youtube look up rainstorm and, and then have that on the background. Cause then it just like feels like I'm there or jungle sounds or a tavern sound. Those things are, are all out on the internet that you can find and it, it really does help me at least. Do you have a favorite uh, song or a favorite soundtrack that's kind of your study throughout writing? I I really like this one Harry Potter song that is in like the last movie and I think it's it's about the <laughs> I'm going to be sounding like such a nerd right now. Um it's the scene when Harry is trying to get the diadem from the ghost and at the same time there's like a war going on at the castle. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, that, that song that they're playing right there where he's trying to talk to the ghost and figure out where it is and, and at the same time there's like a war going on, that's like one of my favorite songs to write too. That was a series that for a series that started with an incredible theme from John Williams uh, and then had other amazing artists, I think Patrick, oh, what's his name? The, I can't think of his name, Patrick, somebody who uh, composes all the music for Kenneth kind of Roddick movies, amazing uh, artist. That is a series that the, the music did not go down. You would think when you start with John Williams, it's all going to be downhill from there, but nope. <laughs> it was consistently great through all eight movies. <laughs> yeah, oh man, she got so lucky to have John Williams because he's a legend. But yeah, you're right. Later on in the movies, the, the music kind of fits where the movies are going because the music becomes more epic and more dark and so do the so do the movie so that's really cool there is a track called fireworks from harry potter and the order of the phoenix that i think might be my favorite uh song from all of the movies but who knows they're all they're all pretty good uh and new from the professional is a song i always recommend for writers the, the professional soundtrack the track is called Noon. 
uh, and it, I could write just about any tension scene for that, or whatever that's worth. <laughs> oh, that's cool. 